$165 million. That's how much Governor Bashir said is needed to improve the state's juvenile detention centers. Wave News troubleshooter Natalia Martinez reports 40 million of that is going towards the reopening of the youth facility in downtown Louisville. Right now, cops don't have a place to take juveniles after an arrest. Judges know that both Democrats and Republicans have agreed on this. Now, whether they'll agree to the tune of $40 million is yet to be seen. Here's another huge ticket item. Bashir wants $90 million to open two new all-female youth facilities. That comes one year's worth after one year's worth of troubleshooters investigations. We uncovered teens were having sex and we told you about a riot that resulted in the rape of a teenage girl. Another Another 31 million, he said, will go to renovating and retrofitting other facilities. That includes the ones in McCracken, Breathitt, Fayette, and the one right here in Linden. That facility closed for a while after whistleblowers told you about the conditions there and how the building itself just wasn't suited for what it was trying to accomplish. Projects are necessary because we cannot have low-level male offenders in the same areas as more violent offenders, and we must separate males and females in custody for their safety. The state's juvenile facilities have come under fire for a series of problems, like children kept in isolation, not being fed, not being schooled, and even accusations of sexual abuse. The Republican caucus has been vocally critical of Bashir's appointees, who were in charge. The Department of Juvenile Justice is facing a couple of federal lawsuits too. The money Bashir is proposing to spend comes to a total of 165 million. Natalia Martinez, Wave News.